What is going on everyone, Peter here, back with another video. I hope everyone watching this is well and is healthy. I went to the dentist recently, I went to the hygienist, and I came out of the dentist and I thought, what can I do? And something come to mind, and I was like, right, I'm gonna make a video about it. So as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be talking about my teeth whitening transformation. So I've had braces, guys. Uh, I had braces when I was about 16 years old. Um, I didn't get gifted with naturally straight teeth. I didn't get gifts. You see some people, they have like teeth that are, you know, naturally just shaped well and fit well and are just naturally white and don't have to have braces, do not have to have any teeth taken out at all. You're just gifted in the teeth department. Yeah, I wasn't one of them. I had braces for two years. I had a, t I had a tooth taken out. Two teeth? Two tooth? Two, two, two tooth? I don't know what. So I got my teeth wired um, when I was 21 by professionally whitened as well, not none of this none of this laser or whitening strips or anything. It was professionally whitened through a dentist. Like I you can only get it the company I went or well, the products I've done, um, you can only go through a dentist, so which I recommend going through a dentist. I got them whitened through a company or through a product called Boutique whitening so it's this you can see that hopefully it focuses yeah you have three appointments so you, i had a checkup i was good and then the next appointment was to do the molds which basically makes your retainers which you use which i'll come on to explain and then after that you get your kit you get your almost your like your starter pack or you get your your whitening kit, uh, a big thing. I haven't got it now, but it's similar to this, but basically like just bigger. Once you get that, you get your retainers made. So that these things, I don't, I don't want to get like my retainers out because yeah, it's just a bit grim, but they're in here. I did it every night for three weeks, two hours before I went to bed. Literally, I did it strictly. You get these gels, basically one of these. Right? Essentially what it does is, it removes the stains from your teeth. That's what essentially whitening is. It's like we're having a white t-shirt, like, you put it in the wash. You know when you get like a fresh white t-shirt and you bought it from a shop, right? And it's fresh and you haven't washed it or worn it. That's how you feel after you get your teeth whitened, like honestly. The results were, were, were pretty good. The results were, um, were pretty good. One thing I would say is, is throughout the time when I did my initial whitening, my teeth did become very sensitive, um, sometimes too sensitive. So I recommend using a, a Sensodome or a sensitive toothpaste um, when you brush your teeth, because that will really help decrease the sensitivity. Um, obviously when you get it done, your teeth are not used to it. It's like, oh my God, so you're like basically removing you know, the stains from your teeth and it's your teeth are like I don't want to do that I like my stain and the whitening stuff's like yeah we want to remove it so just bear with it for a bit that's a little bit about my my transformation I had no real issues with petite whitening would recommend it um, as I said the only thing I would say is just the sensitivity part but that's normal um, and it's really really easy um, Go to your dentist and ask them and see if they do it. Most dentists should do it. It's prescribed for a dentist. So I got really good, really good results from it. So what I'm going to show you now is my five PG tips, five things that I do that I would recommend that you guys should do in order to keep your teeth white. Best investment you will ever get. Honestly, it's the best. With these right, you can get like the top end. I don't know, they have so many now. They have these ones that like you put in your, your Bluetooth to your phone and you can see every 
granule of tooth and that you've missed. I don't know. Or you can get like obviously the top end and obviously there's low end. Um, obviously if money's not an issue, get the most expensive one. But in most cases, money is an issue because everyone wants the best value for money. Now, the key thing with this, right, is a lot of people overlook it when they brush their teeth with an electric toothbrush is has a sensor. A lot of people brush their teeth with an electric toothbrush and most of the time that they brush too hard. When you press too hard, it will go red and it will slow down. It's just great because it means that you're not damaging your teeth. It's just floss, man. Yeah. Yeah, just open it up. Look at that. Just bosh. Probably use that later, but yeah, floss. Every night, once a night, once a day, yeah, once a night before you go to bed, floss takes like two minutes, literally takes two minutes. Um, a lot of people don't do this enough. They they brush their teeth and they think, oh, that's it. But no, nah, flossing is important because floss basically gets all the, the plaque in your teeth that your toothbrush can't. And over time, that's going to build up and just not ideal, is it? Not ideal. So yeah, flossing is important. Chew gum. Literally after every meal I chew gum. What it does is, it basically increases the flow of saliva in your mouth. It's a bit grim, but it, incre it increases the flow of saliva in your mouth, which naturally will kill plaque or will get rid of plaque naturally. And then obviously it will strengthen your teeth and reduce tooth decay. So that's what it does. Don't chew gum if you're going out to meet friends or meet a girl or a guy if girls are watching this because you're more prone to spitting uh, when you talk. So it's not ideal, is it? If you're gonna, you know what I mean? Not ideal, that is. Just drink through a straw. Like bar water, anything that I drink will be through a straw. It, when I say that, I mean, obviously not everything, but if thing, like things like fizzy drinks, things like colored drinks, things like, everything with like acidic in. So even if it's like Diet Coke or things that are sugar free, right? I would still drink it through a straw. 100 paper straws as well, Sainsbury's, easy. Mouthwash, now the reason why I left this to last is because mouthwash is not essential guys. Two things I would say with mouthwash is get one which doesn't have alcohol in it. The more mouthwash you have with alcohol in it will damage your gums over time. This is like over time. Ones without alcohol in it are less harmful on your gums. So over time, in the long run, it's better to have one without alcohol. A lot of people tend to have brush their teeth and then have mouthwash, like in the morning and at night. That's the, the wrong thing to do. When you brush your teeth, you put fluoride in the toothpaste on your on your teeth. And then you have people then they have mouthwash straight after. So what you're essentially doing is you're washing off the fluoride in your toothpaste with mouthwash. So it kind of defeats the object of brushing your teeth. So just brush your teeth and then have mouthwash. As I said, it's not essential, but have mouthwash after lunch or after a big meal or something like that. It's going to clean your teeth. The one I'm having at the moment um, is this Colgate Zero Alcohol Plaques Cool Mint 24 7 plaque protection. Fresher smiles between brushes. Brushings? Brushings. I can't even say that. Colgate. I love Colgate. I'll get it good. The toothpaste I'm using for you that for those that are watching is um, this one at the moment, Oral-B 3D White Luxe Perfection 24-Hour um, Stain Prevention, this one. And yeah, that's my, that's my teeth transformation slash dental routine slash how to maintain whiter teeth or how to maintain white teeth or how to get whiter teeth, yeah. One of them. I made this video to help people because anyone can get their teeth whitened, but I wanted to share my experience. And it's not about having the whitest teeth. I never wanted the whitest teeth. I, I don't have the whitest teeth. It's about, you know, being happy with your smile, being happy with your teeth. That's the most important thing, like anything. It's not you against someone else, you comparing yourself to another person, it's you comparing yourself to you, always, that's just in life. It's been your boy Peter, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.
cleaned happy day